The NRCS CPA 52 Environmental Evaluation Worksheet documents the outcomes of the NRCS nine-step planning process while meeting requirements of the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. This is done by performing an environmental evaluation that identifies any concerns with the soil, water, air, plants, animals, energy, and humans, or other protected resources. This information is recorded on the NRCS standard form, NRCS CPA 52 Environmental Evaluation Worksheet. The NRCS CPA 52 is in a Microsoft Excel workbook format. Let's do a quick orientation now. Opening the form, note the columns and rows around the edges, and tabs across the bottom that allow you to toggle between different worksheets. In this case, we're currently on the CPA 52 tab. Clicking the Instructions tab brings up all the instructions for the form. Panning over to the right side of the form, blue links are available which will bring up specific instructions related to that portion of the NRCS CPA 52 form. Also, the form contains context-sensitive help. Hovering or clicking on any of the red triangles in the workbook will pop up notes with useful information for completing the form. Earlier in the course, we looked at the NRCS Nine Steps planning process. The outcomes of the planning process are documented on the NRCS CPA 52. Let's see how seven of the nine steps, phases one and two, mesh with the NRCS CPA 52. In phase one, collection and analysis, the first step is to identify problems and opportunities. This is documented on the NRCS CPA 52 in Section E, Need for Action. The second step, Determine Objectives, is documented in Section D, Client Subjectives. The third and fourth steps, Inventory Resources and Analyze Resource Data, are documented in Benchmark Conditions for both Section F, Resource Concerns, and in Section G, Special Environmental Concerns. In Phase 2, Decision Support, the fifth step, Formulate Alternatives, is documented in Section H, Alternatives. These are the alternatives that contain a mix of conservation practices that address some or all the concerns documented in Sections F and G. Step 6 of the planning process, Evaluate Alternatives, is where the alternatives from Section H and their impacts to resources and special environmental concerns are evaluated for their impacts to benchmark resource and environmental concerns. These are documented in Section I, Effects of Alternatives, and down in Section J, Impacts to Special Environmental Concerns. Step 6 continues with the evaluation of Section H alternatives all the way through Sections K and L. In Step 7, Make Decisions, one of the Section H alternatives is selected by the client. The client's decision is documented in Section M as the preferred alternative. In Section N, Context, and Section O, Determination of Significance or Extraordinary Circumstances, the preferred alternative selected by the client undergoes further evaluation. Following, the planner applies their signature to Section P. The preferred alternative undergoes further evaluation by the responsible federal official, or RFO. The RFO documents Section Q for compliance with NEPA, and in Section R, the RFO documents the rationale for supporting the finding. Finally, the RFO signs and dates the form. But where is Phase 3, Application and Evaluation? This phase and steps are not documented on the NRCS CPA 52. Why? Because they are future actions that have yet to occur. Remember, the NRCS CPA 52 is used to document the outcomes of the planning process. Several iterations through the steps in phases 1 and 2 may occur before final outcomes are documented on the NRCS CPA 52.